it's the 6th of June is it really it's the 6th of April and I'm just out in the garden before the storm hits um, it's calm it's warm but I believe we've got 45 mile an hour winds en route to us but I thought I'd just take a couple of shots of spring starting to happen in the garden so we've got some daffodils and some hyacinths we would have more hyacinths but the darling chickens sized the old one <laughs> but these ones were in these hyacinths were in this year and they're just a, a pink what's that say pink something Anyway, it's a pink hyacinth, which it appears to be. So we've got a few of those up. In the triangular bed. Nothing's flowering yet, but we've got lots of tulips appearing. And actually, if I just look up the, the side here, you can see there's some daffodils about to come out and then there's those beautiful, beautiful orangey tulips that have been out for a week now which are gorgeous up here next to the swing seat on the mound bed we've got some daffodils starting to appear these are all fresh planted bulbs this year so there's daffodils and there's tulips so they're starting to appear and then I've had to net this little strawberry bed, which is fine actually, it's, um, it's not a problem. Uh, it's just that the chickens, well particularly Dotty, decided that it would be great to jump in there and have a scratch around. Now, it was always going to happen I think because there wasn't any, any real barricade on this bed. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I thought nope, nope. The strawberries are starting to, the plants are starting to grow. I don't want them ripped to shreds. So we've just got this net on. And I've just stretched it across. I've put some, just some bamboo canes, topped them off with some pots, and then used little metal pegs to peg it down round the sides. And that should be fine. As the strawberry plants grow, um, they'll get to a point probably where the, they'll cover the bed and the chickens won't jump in. But if there's any doubt at all, I'll just increase the height of the bamboo canes uh, to give the strawberry plants more space. Pot. At the back here the pots are a little bit higgledy-piggledy. The three new pots now have um, nice holes drilled in them and I've started to fill them with compost. I wanted to get something in them before the winds come in case they disappeared. Uh, and the two end ones, I've now got a, one of my horses from Last year in there, it's not quite through yet. And then over here, I've got another hosta. It's quite a small hosta, but that's fine. Uh, if there's tons of space in this pot, I'll just pop, pop some flowers in here for the year. And that hosta will gradually grow and grow year on year. So a couple of weekends ago, I put in my first earlies. These are Caledonian Peril. And they're in varying size of pots, these ones, mostly 20 to 25 litres. They've got these little barricades on top there, sort of pl wire, uh, plastic coated wire to stop the, the chickens jumping in and having a dust bath in there. So I've now prepared my next four pots and I'm going to put my charlottes in here. I can't remember how many charlottes I've got. I might need a couple more pots, but... Um, yeah, it looks like if I just step back, <laughs> probably going to have my potatoes all the way down this side fence, which goes on for quite a bit. I'm just putting plastic down and it goes down and down and down there. So I'm going to have a bit, <laughs> almost like a hedge of potato plants and they'll get sun most of the time, I think. Yep. So, yeah, so I'm going to put my second earlies in, they're Charlotte's and... If I've got enough compost, I'll maybe start on some of my main crops as well. But what I've got here in these pots, these are these three are 30 litre pots. The one at the end is a 20 litre pot. I've got about three inches of compost in the bottom 
and then I've sprinkled some chicken manure pellets and blood fish and bone and I'm going to mix that in I'll plunk my potatoes in and then I will top up for these 30 litre pots I'm just going to put three potatoes in um, in each and then in that one at the end I'll put two I may experiment because you know, second earlies and first earlies are what we call determinate, which means that the potatoes all appear in a single layer. So some people put two potatoes, then more compost, then two potatoes, so that you've actually end up with two layers of potatoes in your 30 litre pot. So I might try that. I think I tried it before, but I didn't really compare it against anything. So I might try that. I might put two, two and two in that one and then three in that one. Uh, and then see how many I've got left. So hang on a second, I'll pop the potatoes in and I'll see what transpires. Okay, okay, that's me done. So, second early, Charlotte, there's three in that pot. There's like two and two and two separate layers in that pot. There is actually three in that pot. And that's all the Charlottes that I had actually, which is less than I usually have. Then we're on to the main crops. I thought I'd just carry on until I ran out of steam <laughs> or ran out of compost. So we've got Picasso, which is one of the main crops I'm growing. The other one is pink fur apple, but um, I've not put them out yet. So Picasso, we've got uh, 30 litre tubs and we've got three, 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 and whoop, right at the end, there's actually four. There was a little extra one. So yeah. 6th of April and these are on the go and then a couple of weeks ago these on the go so I'm making a TP here in this 40 litre pot and I'm going to be planting some Oregon mosh too uh, to grow up the TP so I'll just get it, get it constructed I bought some some of the mosh to plants from the garden centre after my first lot got munched by a mouse in the polytunnel. I've got others on the go so I'll have more of them uh, uh, coming successionally but um, I'm going to pop some out, I'll fleece them but just to get something in the ground basically but first of all I've got to build this teepee. itself is nice and easy to do but um, now what I'm going to do is put some string around the, the bamboo all the way up to the top so that I can have my sweet, eh, not my sweet peas, my moish too growing up this not just on the, the, the sides where there's a bamboo pole but actually in the middle as well so I can get lots of plants growing up this structure. <coughs> I bought these um, at the garden centre. These are Monge 2 Oregon Sugar Pods. And I grew these last year from seed and they were fantastic. So I've got more on the go after losing my first lot to a mouse, but these I bought so that I can get these into this first pot up this first teepee and um, then I'll, the, the other ones I've sown, I'll be able to grow on successionally. So let's just get these in. and probably three uh, in each so 
that seems uh, put in the pot I will give this a water and then I'm going to put some can you see me <laughs> and I'm going to put a little bit of fleece around this to keep it uh, keep them all cozy in this weather there we have it my first transplanting out of seedlings and it's my Oregon Monge too. They should be nice and cosy in there I think until such a time as they are established and I can take the fleece off. While I'm in a TP mood <laughs> I'm going to put the string around the sweet pea TP. I do have some sweet pea seedlings I don't know whether I'll sow them or sorry, I should say transplant them today or not. We shall see. Okay, there you go. We've got string all the way around the teepee at regular intervals for the sweet peas to grow up. I'm going to have to now put a little fence around this to stop the girls getting in so that when I do so uh, plant the sweet peas in here that they don't get eaten by the chickens or more to the point dug up by the chickens. Come on girls. Come on in. Come on. Come on girls, no, you stay in. <laughs> I'm calling the other ones in. Yay! Uh-huh. Come on, in we go. Come on, darlings. That's you. Come on, Jemima, up and over. That's you. Right. Hello. So, that's me finished, I think. The wind is due to hit 45 50 mile an hour winds is due to hit within the hour it's okay at the moment just the odd little breeze but um yeah i'll get the girls in they've had a morning out which is great i've had a morning doing some things in the garden now i'm going to be retiring indoors to do some bits and pieces in there thanks so much for watching uh stay safe batten down the hatches and i'll talk to you again very soon give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye for now.